is Ocala Tower Information Golf, 1651 Zulu, wind 270 at 13, gust 21, visibility 10. 270, take off 36, at 13, gust to 21. Hey everyone, Jason here in 23 Mike Zulu with you, getting ready to depart and showing you a great crosswind takeoff and crosswind landing in gusty conditions. Afternoon, Ocala Tower, Skyhawk 23 Mike Zulu, Alpha 11, 36, ready for departure. November 23 Mike Zulu, Ocala Tower, runway 36, cleared for takeoff, make left close traffic. The wind is 280 at 18. 360, cleared for takeoff, left traffic. 23 Mike Zulu, thank you. All right, so change that up a little bit. 280 at 18 now. Always getting that appropriate wind check. Let's start and let's work our way through this here together. Using every bit of runway like you guys know I like to do. Coming on out. Ailerons into the wind. As you can see. Smoothly applying some full power. And my ailerons stay like this. Maintain directional control with the rudders. As I'm building up my airspeed, I'm babying some of that control out. Babying some of that control out. And we are up and flying. <laughs> It is gusty today. Jeez. And we are getting bumped around like crazy. Look at that crab angle I had to put in here as we're climbing up and out. Flying on through here. I want to make sure I'm looking this way. I want to make sure I'm maintaining flying that straight on out. Whew, it's gusty. Getting bumped all around here. Maintaining that and maintain this crab angle. A big part of this is gonna be managing our traffic pattern as we come on through as well. It's gonna to prove to be so important. Now notice too, once I start and I make that left crosswind, I'm gonna be turning right into the wind. Watch what that'll do to my vertical speed as I'm now ready. I'm gonna turn my left crosswind, which is basically now turning right on into the wind. Remembering what the wind is doing to me in each little phase of flight here. All right, turning in and look at my vertical speed, 1,000 feet per minute as we're coming. I didn't change my pitch, anything like that. Just turning it into the wind, helping increase that climb. Pattern L2 is going to come real quick, and you're going to look out and go, I'm not covering as much distance across the ground. So where I typically turn downwind at something like 1,000 feet, I'm not going to turn yet because I'm, I'm at the altitude, but I'm not covering as much distance across the ground. So I'm still going to hold my traffic pattern altitude here for just a second. And I'm going to hold this until I'm about where I normally am, which is actually out over this way quite a bit. So I'm going to fly this. Then I'm going to remember the wind is going to try to push me back towards the runway as well. And I'm going to kind of roll through that turn, but I'm not going to roll perfectly 90 degrees on out because I know the wind is going to work to push me back towards that runway. So I'm going to hold, I'm holding like a two, two, zero heading right now. It's crazy as that sounds. Flight two, zero, three, but I'm flying okay. this way. Three, six, clear Even though I'm holding this two, two, zero here. Heading. We'll call him midfield here in just a second. And two, three, Mike Zulu's midfield for a full stop. Two three Mike Zulu, runway three six, clear to land. The wind is two nine zero at one four, gust two four. Three six, clear to land. Thank you, two three Mike Zulu. I appreciate those wind checks because when you heard the ATIS, that was uh, forty five minutes old. In that case, we're waiting for a new one to come on out here. Maintain this. I'm making sure I'm not getting pushed in and creeping into the runway. Like I said, I'm maintaining that nice crab angle here. I'm coming up and being my touchdown point now. I need to get down. Carburetor heat comes on. I'll bring some power back, and I am using zero in the flap department. There's no chance I'm using any flaps in this case. Flaps, what do they do? Yes, they slow us down, but they make that wing surface area bigger. They add another component for some of that wind to get up underneath, and it's not going to be good news coming in in a crosswind or in gusty conditions, and we have both here today. I'm going to slow this on down and just manage it using power. Coming on down. Now, this is very important. 
I'm about to turn base. Where's the wind going to be, right? It's going to be behind me. So it's going to push me. This is why we do turns around a point. It's going to push me very, very quickly for this turn. I am not going to have much of a base. So I'm actually bringing my powers almost back to idle here because I know I'm not going to have much of a base. I know I still need to get down a little bit, and the wind is just going to push me right on through here. And I'm rolling out, and I have a heck of a tailwind here right now. Got a ground speed of like a 102 here, but I'm just I'm showing about... 85 indicated, right? We're coming through. Final looks clear. I've got some birds out in front of me here. I need to watch. There they are. He already cleared me to land. I'm not looking. Now, by the way, I need, to, I need to time this. I need to turn a little bit early based on where the wind is. I'm not looking to hit a point. I'm not looking for a gorgeous landing. I'm looking for a safe landing on center line to put that upwind wheel down and roll this airplane on out, so I'm looking right for here. Report two miles Look how I'm skidding, it looks like I'm skidding through this turn as it's kind of blowing me on through here. I've got a little bit of power, and I need, I need that power to keep coming on down. And we're working our way on down. I've got a nice crab angle. I teach the crab to side slip here. So we're coming on in. I've got a nice little crab angle. And then we're going to go ahead, and I'll put that upwind wheel down first. I can see the wind sock. He's exactly right. If anything, it has switched quite a bit to that 280. Maintain this coming on down, babying some power out. Keeping that nose coming down, and just flying all the way down. I still have power in, even right here. I'm going to my side slip. I still have a little bit of power in. That power is back, 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 back. Now I'm back to idle. I'm holding it, just riding the waves, riding the waves. Holding it here, holding it here, waiting for that to come on down. There's my upwind wheel. There's my next crosswind correction comes in, and let it roll. Just let it roll, ride it right on out. Uh, two, uh, Mike, is, correction, three, Mike Zulu. Turn right next taxiway at Alpha 6, engine contact ground point four. Alpha 6.4, thank you, two, three, Mike Zulu. And we'll ride this on out. Now I'm slowly getting on the brakes, applying a little back pressure, a little aerodynamic braking here, but I don't want to get flying again. Be very careful of that. And then we turn off and we'll contact ground here on Alpha 6. What? <laughs> that was a really gusty day. What a fun takeoff. What a fun lane. You notice I was a little quieter on that video than normal, right? You can always tell when it's a challenging flight when Jason's quiet. That's a that's a tough one. I can't wait to read your comments below this video on Facebook, on YouTube, on M0A.com. Enjoy the rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, good pilot is always learn. Have a great day, guys. We'll see ya. Pass your check ride or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.